Hey. Well, hey there. Hey, welcome to this photo reading session. Uh, in today's photo reading session, I appreciate you joining me. We'll be working on activating Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Now, if you don't have your photo reading whole mind course yet, you can still get it through me just in the description below. Right on. So let's begin. You should have already prepared, previewed, and post view this uh, wonderful book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, classic book, one of my favorites, uh, has some great secrets about the subconscious mind, especially um, a lot like what we use in photo reading. So I have my questions here. It looks like I've got some page numbers, uh, some things to answer. So I'm gonna use the activation process. Uh, the activation process, we're gonna use uh, mind mapping to help us understand uh, this book better. Uh, it's a great way, just, it's kind of like a note-taking uh, idea uh, where you just expand visually understanding what it is that you want. So, um, think and grow rich. We're gonna just put that right in the middle. Think and grow rich. It does help. Uh, for your mind map, if you have lots of colored pens, it helps visually uh, stimulating your eyes. You can use markers, you can use uh, any kind of uh, crafts that you want. Mind mapping is specifically for you. Each one of them is going to be different and unique uh, to you and your uh, photo reading. So, in activation, we're going to use things like uh, skittering, uh, dipping, rhythmic perusal, and all the little techniques of, uh, in the whole mind system to try to open up these questions. Now I got a list of questions here that I like to get answered. And as much as uh, we'd like to just jump in and read, I don't really need to go through the whole book. I just want to find out some answers to these questions. You have a list of your own questions. You can go through this whole book and activate the entire thing, or you can just Play around, find out where the information comes out and jumps into your uh, conscious awareness. And also, activation doesn't always happen purposefully. There's spontaneous activation as well. So notice throughout your day, week, month, year, whatever, you might s see something from this book in your day and you're like, oh, I can make that connection with that. That would be, that makes a lot of sense. So the first question I have to, I want to ask is, how do I use my thought process to create enduring success? Okay, now I don't know exactly how I'm gonna find this, <laughs> the answer to this question. Hmm. Well, actually I may have found it right away. <laughs> I know this is far in the book, um, but there are seven major negative emotions to be avoided. And it looks like um, positive and negative emotions cannot occupy the mind at the same time. One or the other must dom dominate. It is your responsibility to make sure that positive emotions constitute the dominating influence of your mind. Uh, here, the law of habit will come to your aid. Form the habit of applying and using the positive emotions. Eventually, they will dominate your mind. So completely that the negatives cannot enter it. So that is not how to do I use my thought process, but that's why. That's what I wanted for. Like to create enduring success is to form the habit. So even uh, here, so let's put uh, over here in during success. I don't know. Sure. Why not? It's to form habits. Form habits. And in this habits, positive emotions. Excellent. That can increase your creative power. Very cool. And there are seven major positive emotions, including uh, along with uh, the other, the negative ones. So 
or in this case, desire, faith, love, sex, enthusiasm, romance, and hope are positive. Fear, jealousy, hatred, revenge, greed, superstition, and anger are negative. Pretty classic, probably still apply to today. Um, that doesn't fully answer my question, how do I use my thought process? But it does give me a chance to um, recognize what is in my thought process. And positive and negative emotions can have this underlying effect, right? So it's up to you to find these answers. Your answer is going to be different than mine. Hey, little guy. Um, it looks like uh, the self-confidence formula may assist in this thought process. So concrete, definite demand, chief aim, take action towards. Um, yeah. So all impulses of thought have a tendency to clothe themselves in their physical equivalent. What is the link through uh, there between subconscious mind and conscious state of physical space? There we go. To answer that question, uh, basically, mind and body connection. And as simple as uh, that all the link between is uh, well directly related to let's see I'm just gonna write this out all impulses of thought and this is your thoughts of course have a tendency Oops, tendency to clothe themselves in their physical equivalent. Oops, e equivalent. Excellent, there we go. And you know, it's fun to play around with. Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, little drawings you can play around with little characters or whatever. I'm just going to make a little dude who has a thought bubble. of himself. He's got a little king's hat on, a little robe, maybe a little pyre, whatever. He's the king. <laughs> and he's just seeing himself. Oh, I got the drapery. Excellent. Got the pyre. Cool. Just an image that you create to show, hey, I'm thinking about it. I got this. Setting up form, setting up stabilizing impulses what you think about you bring about is a great uh what you think you bring about yeah what you think about you bring about that's a true very true statement based on the link between subconscious and, and can conscious realm dive into the the emotions you have for that uh emotions are actually a, a great uh, connection to this. Emotions can show you the link. How you feel may be how you see the world. So there's a direct connection to that. So what is faith, exactly? Faith is a state of mind which may be induced by auto-suggestion. 
So, what is faith? It is a question I had, um, and it's a uh, is a state of mind. It's a uh, is a state of mind. You know, I, I, I know it as like believing in something and to fully. Uh, and it's in this case, it's a state of mind. Tell people how to have faith. So that's that could come close to how do I use my thought process. I think a self-confidence rule is a great way to go about that. Uh, creating enduring success has to do with faith for sure. And uh, faith is an e eternal elixir. So it's called an e eternal elixir. which gives life power and action to the impulses of thought I'm just trying to answer my questions. You're just trying to answer your questions. This is stimulating quite a bit in me. I'm really happy that I'm jumping into this book with photo reading and activating. Uh, I've never done it with this book and it's fantastic so far. So how can I increase my imagination? Stick to your ideas. Despite the efforts of its giant competitors, see, think of what customers want. Overcome obstacles and keep open to new opportunities. Obviously, this has a lot to do with business, but here we go. Um, how can I increase my imagination? Here's a great one. You go into thoughts and imagination, and here's a simple one. You can go into the stories that the book provides as well and go and find things about like Dr. Grunsalis, um, Frank Grunsalis. But what, what I want to do is see this, uh, this is what I would do if I had a million dollars. So to increase your imagination, um, think of what it's like to have a million dollars. I mean, what would you do with it you know uh how would you go about uh let's say you have a week to spend it whatever use your imagination to grow that's all how to make practical use of your imagination Okay, form an idea in your mind. Form an idea in your mind. And practice forming new ideas. Okay, increasing imagination is really just by forming ideas. Okay, great. Uh, of course, you can find more depth into each page. You can flip through each page. You can do it the way I'm doing it. It's a way you want to provide the information through the author to yourself. What can I do to improve my planning skills and organization skills? I actually popped 
I was flipping, as I flipped, I flipped towards that space and uh, uh, found it again right away, uh, which is a very cool part about activation. How quickly things come up, uh, you might find uh, astound you. In, a, in this case, uh, forming habits seems to be part of it. So improving planning skills and organization skills, well, you wanna create a quality, uh, quality of service. So the details, quality of details. So planning and organizing. Go a little bit all over here, but create lines, pathways to support your, what you're doing here. That's a stack of money, truly, but. <laughs> yeah, anywho, okay. Quality, quantity, spirit. Quality, quantity, spirit. Okay, so in case of planning skills and organization skills, there's a QQS rating apparently to it. Uh, da, 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 how to get exact positive. Okay, well, let's figure this out. So quality down to detail, quality, quality of details. You know, fine tune them, work them out. Then you got to create a quantity of habit. Quantity just means the habit of how quantity means habit of giving all your services out. Okay, so detail your, you want to detail, you want the quality of details. You want the, the habit of giving your service in a quantitative way, you know, a, a continuous way. And you want to have this spirit that goes along with those two. With the first two. First two ideas. It's called the QQS rating. Quality, quantity, spirit. For planning an organization, having the details and the the habit of when you're gonna do it, how you're gonna do it, covering it, and then continually making that spirit happen. You know, hey, I could learn from that here. <laughs> Just in these photo reading videos. Of course, that's okay. Uh, lovingly, I'll move forward. What is a mastermind? Power of the mastermind. Gaining power through the mastermind. The mastermind may be defined as coordination of knowledge and effort in a spirit of harmony between two or more people for the attainment of a definite person, purpose. Mastermind. Two or more people. It's a group of like minded individuals. Group of like minded Yeah. So a mastermind helps the perfect harmony of the spirit in planning and organizing. A mastermind can help form habits uh, because people will keep you accountable. And it also brings a sense of faith, keeping things in perfect harmony. Hmm. So a mastermind is just a collection of two or more people 
We're working on the same goal. How important is the brain to all this working? <laughs> well, I can answer that. If you don't have a brain, you're not going to even ask the question. And then, let's see, I jumped into trying to figure out a little more. Desire can help with imagination enhancing. Self-confidence formula. Okay, so just finding. I was trying to find these questions. Cool. Now, when it comes to your questions, your trigger words, and your post view, you have something completely different than I do. That's, that is a given. That is important to this overall process. You want to open it up in your way, not mine. So please, listen to what your brain is trying to show you. Listen to what your mind is trying to tell you and listen to where your body's taking you because to the success uh, of you, um, it really should ha come through you, for you. <laughs> what is the 10 mind stimuli? A genius. So I want to check that out. It's on page 208, which I just flipped to and then I skipped around. Through a uh, desire for sex expression, love, a burning desire for fame, power, financial gain, money, music, friendship between each other, same sex or those of the opposite sex, a mastermind alliance based upon the harmony of two or more people who ally, them, ally themselves for spiritual or temporal advancement, uh, mutual suffering such as the experience by people who are persecuted, auto suggestion fear and narcotics and alcohol. So those are 10 ways to uh, stimulate the mind. It's like there's a few of them that are more conscious than others. Here's a cool question. Are there known sources of knowledge which are available only to geniuses? And if so, what are these sources and exactly how may they be reached? That's pretty cool. What's the answer? Oh, hey, look. So just like in photo reading, Paul R. Shealy, recognize that you're a genius already. There's genius within every human being. And the reality is genius is in the sixth sense and creative imagination. Very cool is that what we worked on, at least what I worked on here, is the recognition that mind and body connection comes through increasing your imagination of thought, creating ideas, stimulating a, uh, a faith in, in yourself, which is creating a, a state of mind or eternal elixir that has gives power, life, power, and action to the impulses of thought and if you can recognize this by, you know, conducing conversation with another person or continue to planning the qualities and details of, uh, of, your, uh, of your goals into uh, habits and having that spirit to drive you every day, then you, yes, you, you, you have a genius inside you. All you got to do is untap it. And that's truly what it seems like Think and Grow Rich is trying to do. I know it's truly what I'm trying to do is show you that you're a genius already. All we have to do is open up this knowledge, open up these books for a little longer and gain more insight from them because it's already inside you, okay? These books are already out there. Just open them up, have some fun with your reading. Now we activated Think and Grow Rich today. My mind map is a little small, Yours will be a little bit different. Hopefully there's a lot more pictures on yours, a lot more color, because how you visu visualize will help you stimulate this book later if you wanna go back to more activation. Now, this is the end of the activation video for Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Thank you for joining me on this photo reading session between prepare, preview, and uh, photo reading, post viewing, and activating of Think and Grow Rich. If you need to get your photo reading whole mind course, you can still do that through me. And please, enjoy your reading. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Aloha. Get out of here. <laughs>